Hey guys, what is up? Joshua here from Edit Video Faster. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to copy an effect from one clip to another in Avid Media Composer. There's a couple different ways to do this. There's a couple little, you know, nuances to this uh, that I want to make you aware of. Uh, yeah, so let's jump into it. So the quickest and easiest way to copy an effect in Avid Media Composer, uh, let's say we already have our effect on a clip, uh, we want to open up the effect editor. Uh, now up here, uh, you'll see this little icon uh, next to the name of the effect. Uh, and if you don't know this, uh, which is why you're watching this video, how are you ever going to find it? I have no idea, but this is why you're watching this video. So click on the little icon, you'll see my cursor changes to this little, you know, uh, hand with the finger. Um, click on it, drag, and drop that onto your clip. When you do that, it copies the effect. Um, this is just a 3D warp, so um, it's just a, a scale and a position change uh, that I have. So we'll do that one more time uh, with the effect editor open. Uh, click on this little icon, drag, and drop it onto a clip and now that copies the effect over. Um, another thing you can do, um, let's go back in our effect editor, have uh, the effect selected. Uh, you can take this little icon, drag and drop it into a bin, promptly called effects on, uh, you know, in my Avid Media Composer. Bin can be called whatever you want. Uh, and now we can um, also change the name of it, um, you know, position and scale. Um, and now we can take it from here. You see our little, you know, thumb finger icon again. Take that, drag, and drop it onto clips again. So this is great if you know you need to, you know, save this effect and then use it, you know, further down the timeline, uh, or you know, where, when it's not, you know, a clip, you know, easily accessible, you know, um, here in this view. So that's a great way to do this. One more thing to consider when you're copying effects is if they have keyframes. So Avid has two types of keyframes, fixed or elastic. You might not be aware of this. Again, this is one of those things that you don't know uh, unless you know you're, you kind of stumble upon it. So let's make a couple keyframes here. Uh, and by default, the keyframes are uh, elastic. So uh, what that means is they stick to kind of, in this scenario, the first frame and the last frame. And if the duration of the clip changes, it kind of flexes and bends um, and sticking to those, you know, first frame and last frame uh, of the clip as we, you know, make the clip shorter or longer. So if I were to take this effect and drag and drop it onto another clip, um, you can see it is the first frame and the last frame over here, even though this clip is exponentially shorter. Uh, so fixed keyframes, those stick uh, basically at these time codes. So the first frame, and then I don't know how long this clip is, two seconds, you know, then at two seconds, you know, that's where these keyframes sit. So to change that, let's select both keyframes, right click, and then go change it to fixed. And now when I take and drag this effect onto the next clip, and now I went shorter to longer. So you can see uh, that this here is now at the first frame and this is here kind of in the middle. Uh, basically, you know, this clip is double the length. So um, that is something to be aware of when you're copying these um, effects back and forth between your clips is if they have keyframes, you need to check to see if they are fixed or elastic. Uh, by default, they are elastic. Um, I really like to work with fixed keyframes. It just makes more sense to me. Um, but yeah, you can change those whenever you need to. I have another tutorial that walks this through a little bit more. Uh, I'll link that, you know, up in the corner and, you know, below in the description, uh, if you want to learn more about fixed and elastic keyframes. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Um, this is how to copy your clip, uh, on, or copy your effect in Avid Media Composer onto different clips, uh, showed you two different ways to do it. If you have questions, uh, please leave them, uh, in the comments below. Um, you know, I'm on a little bit older version of Media Composer, so the interface might look just slightly different than where you are probably here in 2022, 2023, 2024 or so watching this video. Uh, if you are further in the future watching this, uh, hey, uh, leave a comment. Uh, hopefully this is still useful 
for you. Uh, so that's it. Uh, hit that like button if you found this helpful. Uh, subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this one, and uh, I'll see you around in the next video. Bye.